Greetings brothers and sisters. It's the 26th of October and it's just after 10 in the evening here in South Africa. And I'm super excited to get back to you with another video. Um, today we're going to build on my previous video on the Ezekiel story, the Ezekiel's 390 and 40 day count, uh, where we discovered in our last video that there was an extra six days. And in fact, it might actually be an extra seven days. And I'll, I'll get into that later in this, in this video. Um, but uh, yeah, the story seems to be unfolding. I as per my previous video, I, I believe that we needed to get to the end of the 390 days for the scope of the bride. And that seems to be the case, although the, the start of where the count is does seem to be, in fact, the 390 days seems to, be start, seems to have started on the 7th of October. Uh, in my previous video, for those of you who haven't watched it, uh, I'd highly recommend that you you watch this video, uh, which I put out uh, two weeks ago, and it's uh, it's called "What About the Six Days in Ezekiel's Three Ninety and Forty Day Story." So you you're going to have some difficulty following what I'm saying in this video if you haven't watched that that video. So I'm really just going to build on from onto onto what uh, what I shared in that video there. Yeah, so um, so that's what we're going to get into this video. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible and uh, just cover some of the adjustments that we need to make to, to our understanding from two weeks ago. Just some interesting um, things that I've discovered while I was busy preparing for this video. Uh, I decided to put a chart together to tr try and explain uh, some of the things that I'm seeing and how in fact the the count that's given to us um, in the Ezekiel uh, chapters uh, well it's really from chapters 1 through to 8 uh, with, the, with two dates given and we're given a seven days and a 390 days and a 40 days and then we discovered there were these hidden six possibly seven days and uh, I believe those those numbers are actually fitting into the picture now even more more clearly now that I now that we understand more clearly where the 390 starts and I can show you where the seven fits in and then I'm going to discuss where I believe the six days fits in and uh, I did mention last week there was a possibility that fits between the 390 and the 40 and I'm going to get into a little bit of that more of that um, uh, in this in this video I decided that to facilitate what I want to show you, I, I need to put a chart together. And uh, so when I got onto my PC, I, I thought I, I, I was certain that I did something on this uh, some time ago. Anyway, I did a search. I came across a, a chart that I actually prepared um, last year. And I published it um, last year, 26 October. So to the date, uh, 26 October. And, and I shared it on a, in a comment on the forum. This, this was the chart that I, that I actually put together. At the time when I put it together, um, it, was, it was about, it was all about proving, I just want to get this a little bit larger. It was all about proving that, um, that, the, that the Ezekiel story of the 390 and the 40 actually prove that there is a, from time to time, that there is a 13 month year. Um, so that was what, what this was all about. And I, and, and I put this chart together in detail. So you will see in this chart here, what we've got here is the, uh, uh, just, this, just a general year count. Okay, this was no specific year, but just a general year count with a, with a 13 years, uh, so, sorry, with a, with a 13th month in it. And, and, I, and I just proved in this, in this to, to, to myself and anybody who was willing to have a look at it, that it was impossible to have this count of three, three, uh, 390 and 40 in a 12 month year. It had to have been a 13 month year. Otherwise the dates are impossible. The two dates that were given, the first date we're given in chapter one was the fifth day of the fourth month. When Ezekiel gets to, he sees the Lord, uh, uh, he sees the vision of the throne and, um, and then he, Seven days later, um, he's called. He, uh, the Lord appears to him again, and it's at the in the at the end, it's at that point that he's appointed as a watchman, and etc. And I covered most of this in the previous video anyway, so I'm just really touching it. So, 
in this count, this was before, this was now a year ago, before I was even at that stage, I was still looking at the possibility um, of the 390 being more representative of a one year of the famine of the of the word, where the Lord would be tied up spending a year with his bride after the wedding, uh, based on Deuteronomy. Uh, was it this one here? No, sorry, this was this was the way I shared the chart. Um, that was the chart that I made. This was the chart that I shared last year um, to, on this date, 26 October. But there was another, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a recent discussion that we were having yesterday and at, at, uh, in, in the forum. And um, and I, I um, just want to get to that. Um, it's actually a great uh, uh, discussion piece. If you, uh, I'd recommend if you to get into this, go read through these uh, some of these discussions that took place. I just want to get, uh, find it here. Um, it, so that that would be this this one here, um, a post that I put in, and yeah, there's there's been a fair amount of discussion in this, and it was in this um, that I that I came across. Let me just go into that. Uh, yeah, in that thread during the in the discussion, um, there was you'd have to you'll have to dig through the, the the comments there, but there was there was something that very interesting that came up, um, and it was Chris that actually asked the question. He said, uh, and he 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 pointed out this 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 thing that we have in Deuteronomy twenty four five which states that a man cannot go to war or be charged with any business for one year after his wedding. And, um, and, and uh, he goes on to say, would this not apply to Jesus as he will be taking a, a new wife? If this applies to him, then he, he would then it applies to him. Then would he be able to come back for the 40 days? So I responded and I, and I said to him, look, you know, this is, this is an excellent question. This is something that it actually, come to mind um, way back in 2021 and I referred to a post this was my the, this was a post um, going back to to 21 where I was looking at that um, uh, and I'm not saying this was correct and it, it, it totally correct at that time but I was looking at that time there was the, this this whole the same issue this Deuteronomy 24 5 uh, where the husband is 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 to remain uninvolved in business and war for the first year, and it, um, so yeah. So at that stage, I was I was looking at the Ezekiel thirty nine story being uh, poss possibly in uh, uh, um, acting uh, possibly being fulfilled in end times in reverse order, where we would have the forty days. Of Ezekiel forty, and then followed by the three ninety, with the three ninety being a year that the Lord is tied up. Yeah, you know, I made the connection of where Ezekiel is tied up, and and the Lord being tied up, and unable to be directly involved in the first year, at least of the of the Red Horse Rider when the sword is sent out. Um, so I was looking at that possibility largely because of this Deuteronomy twenty four five. When I saw more recently how the Jews were counting uh, the days from October 7, um, I thought to myself, hang on a second, there's something here. And this seems to be a direct connection to um, the, three, three, the 390 days, especially when we got to the, about the 348th day at that point in time. I realized, now hang on a second, there's something very, this is definitely something going on here. And... Um, so, the, so my thinking has changed, but we still got this problem. Um, well, my thinking has changed that we are in the 390 day count. That is the warning for, for the house of Israel, uh, for those that are, uh, and the Gentiles that are grafted in. And, and it will be followed by the 40 day warning for the house of Judah, as per the Ezekiel story. Um, and then we sit with the problem that uh, we've got the seven-day wedding, which does, which 
didn't seem to be provided for in that 390 and the 40 um, unless we and, and until we discovered the extra six possibly seven days and we and we're not told where where to place those extra days as per my previous video which could well provide for that time slot required for the wedding um, but we, we, we also have got this other problem, as Chris pointed out, that um, there's, you know, there's this year, how does the Lord get married and then come and work for 40 days and then, and what, how do we deal with that, that year of doing no business and war um, after, you know, in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in his first year. So that uh, is something that we also need to, to have a look at. Uh, there's something that I came across in um in in the apocrypha book called the f the, uh, the first book of adam and eve and if you go and read in that story when adam and eve got married there was a uh, um, they entered into a marriage covenant and then they had they were required to pray for 40 days and after the 40 days of of fasting and prayer they were able to con they were then allowed to consummate the marriage which is something that's been sitting in the back of my, my mind for some time, um, that we could have a situation or a similar situation now in these end times where there's a 40-day gap between the actual covenant, the marriage covenant, and then the, the ultimate consummation and that one-year break. And we also know from the scriptures that there's a time of the famine of the word besides the famine of, of food and water uh, Ezekiel alludes to this as well in his enactment in his 390 and his 40 day enactment he alludes to the the scarcity of food and water uh, but we also know from the word there's the famine of the word um, which kind of implies that um, perhaps the Lord for the, at least for the first year of the tribulation is not going to be as directly involved and will in fact spend that year in terms of the law in terms of Deut Deuteronomy 24 5 with his bride where his servants um, are the only uh, spirit-filled agents on the world in, in in the in the world to 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 help them through that year so just something to think about um that's that's a possibility that we've got the seven day covenant followed by the 40-day warning and then uh, followed by then the actual uh, consummation of the of, if you can call it that uh, of the of the marriage and that one year break uh, where the bridegroom spends with his uh, with the year with his bride uh, as per the follow the pattern that's given to us in the the book of Adam and Eve anyway so I digress a little bit I just want to get back to to this chart that I put together, so, um, where we were looking at the Ezekiel's um, 390 and the 40 day, and how it has to fit into a 13 month year. And we, in this one, we I started the count, the seven days that we were given, being the first day, being the first day of the fourth month, when the, when he first sees the vision of the throne, uh, followed immediately by the 390 days. Um, on, on his left side and followed immediately by the 40 days on his right side um, and then <laughs> you can see in this chart so a year ago I saw the six days there was this two days left in the in the fifth month and then there's the four days in the sixth month um, to bring us to the fifth day of the sixth month when he when Ezekiel's now um, sitting um, with a group of elders in his home and he's taken in the spirit into Jerusalem and he's, and he's shown the state of Jerusalem. Um, the Lord shows him the state of Jerusalem uh, on that day. And uh, at that time, I, I, you can see that I, I, the, the six days were there. I just didn't know what to do with them. I, we, I, I, they just sat there. And I never made the connection. Um, so in as, as I say in my last video, we, I just ha I've got these six days here, but they could just as well have been a break between the 390 and the 40, such that the 40 ends either the day before the fifth of the sixth month here, or on the fifth of the sixth month. So you can see in this count, it's a total of 433 days. Okay, um, 
that's the 7, the 390, the 40, so it's 437 plus the 6, that's 433. But you'll see that I'm taking only four days of the six month and not the, so the fifth day is not included in the count. If we are supposed to include the first day in the count, then it would in fact be 444 days, which gives us seven days um, unaccounted for. So if the 40th day actually is the fifth day of the sixth month, then there would be seven days between the 390 and, and the 70, not just six. So it's just a, a difference. It, it's a matter of whether, whether the total from whether we are to count inclusive of the fifth day of the fourth month and the fifth day of the sixth month. If they are included, then it's 444 days of which 7, 39, and 40 are accounted for and 7 are unaccounted for. So um, anyway, I just thought that interesting. That And th this was made, and I, and I can see my in, 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 in the when I created it, I created it on the 26th of October last year and posted it on that day. And it's just ironic when I, I searched for it and it came up uh, today again it, um, that um, it's, it's a year to the date that I was looking at this. Anyway, so getting back to, um, so I made another chart to try and explain to you uh, what I've been seeing. Uh, let's just go to that. So in this, in this chart, um, I'm just going to, let me zoom out a little bit. Um, just so that to orientate um, you as the viewer. So we've got um, the Gregorian calendar months 2023 uh, from January to December, uh, to 2024 from January to December, and then um, 2025 from January to, to December. Okay, just to give us a baseline to compare with, to relate to. And then um, We've got the this um, this uh, peach colored line would be the Jews um, calendar, the uh, the twenty three twenty four year followed by the twenty four twenty five year. We are currently in the um, the twenty four twenty five year. Okay, we are we are here in twenty four twenty four. We are here in this in this area right in that in that area there. Then the blue is, this, is, is also a biblical calendar, but this is the Lord's calendar where it's two months off. Okay, uh, two months out of sync, or there's two, uh, two, in other words, we believe that the Jews' calendar is two months too early, that the Lord's calendar actually believe, believe, begins when the sun is in Taurus. And I'm not going to get in, into an explanation for this two months in this video. If you... Uh, for a, for a more detailed explanation, I would recommend that you you go and watch this video here, um, finding the true fifth month. Um, the, in that video, I explain in 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 a fair, fair amount of detail how the equinox has shifted, um, which is the really the the sun, moon, and stars follow the ecliptic line. And the ecliptic line is actually rotating around an axis, so it's shifting uh, by about uh, a month every 2,000 years or so. So we've got this situation where the sun and the moon uh, uh, are still moving at the same speed, but the line on which they follow is actually moving. And, that's, and so that causes the seasons to, to, to move. And I explain that in... in fair amount of detail using stellarium in this video so if you want to understand that two months difference between what we call the jews calendar and the lord's calendar this is the video to to go through to have a look at okay so i'm going to just zoom in here a bit so now that we've undergot some degree of orientation um let me just out a little bit so what I've done is I've um, in each of the years I've just plotted where the feasts are. So this is the thirteen. There's thirteen months in this particular year. We know that in the Jews' calendar they observed uh, a thirteenth month last year. So um, which which ended in around the eighth and ninth April, and they started the new year, which in this year will be a twelve month month year. 
Then I've plotted where the feasts are. We've got uh, Passover and Feast of Weeks. Uh, Passover, Unleavened Bread and Feast of Weeks here in the first month. We've got um, uh, Feast of Weeks count there, Pentecost, uh, Feast of New Wine or Trumpets um, on the first day of the seventh month, Atonement, and then the Feast of Tabernacles. And then in the following year, the whole pattern repeats. So Passover, Unleavened Bread, Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, Feast of Trumpets, Atonement, and Tabernacles. Now, in the Lord's calendar, which is two months off, we would have exactly the same feasts, but they would they would be in each case two months off. And in the last video, you will recall that I, we, I noticed that there's a there's a correlation between the Day of Atonement on the Jews' calendar lines up exactly with Pentecost on the Lord's calendar. It was in that video that I thought that possibly the Lord is counting the the 390 days from Atonement, which would have meant that at the end of the 390 days would have been around the 18th of October. And I was looking at possibly the bride being taken at the end of the 390 days, around about the 19th or the 20th of October. And that's 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 come and gone now, so I'm compelled to review that thinking. Um, so it was it was during this um, discussion Mm. Uh, this uh, let me just see if I can, yeah, during this discussion here that I that I uh, pointed out to you, this this one here, um, this one this post that I put out um, on the twenty fourth of October, and there's been a fair amount of discussion there. It was during that discussion that I think it was. Um, I think it was bread, bread. Uh, Brad made a comment um, and that got me thinking and he's commenting uh, somewhere yeah, in one of, one of these things anyway he commented that there were th that he noticed that there were f uh, that well basically that there were 443 days uh, from if you take from October 7 2023 and you add the 443 days he came to a, a certain date in December, but well, you came, you came to the twenty third of December. Um, but I think, uh, and that well, just that comment uh, got me thinking, and I and I knew that the tw that was in the region of the end of Tabernacles. The twenty second of December uh, this year will be the the eighth day of Tabernacles on the Lord's calendar. And uh, he had it down this 23rd, but then I realized that he had not included the 7th of October in the count. Uh, that, uh, you know, it's day one in his count was 8th October. But uh, if you actually start with day one on 7 October, then, then day 443 is actually the 8th day of Tabernacles um, on the Lord's calendar. And that, that got me thinking, hang on a second, wait a minute, we've got something going here. So what I said, what I took was then, if that's the case, then there would be, uh, if there's, if there's, uh, well, we, the 7th of October 2023 was the eighth day um, of, of Tabernacles in 2023 on the Jews calendar. And we've got a connection between two eight days. We've got an eighth day from uh, on the Jews calendar from last year being exactly 443 days to the eighth day um, on the Lord's calendar this year. And uh, so if, if there's a connection between the two eighth days, there's also a connection of 443 days between the start of Tabernacles on the Jews' calendar and the start of Tabernacles on the Lord's calendar. Um, and if you've got to remember that's 443 days includes the seven day count. So it's not just the 390 and the 40 because that's 430 days. In this number of 443, there's seven days plus this other six days. And if this is in fact 444, then, then, then it could actually be seven days. Yeah. It just depends whether we're supposed to include that uh, fifth day of the sixth month or not. So. I'm going to leave it as a six stroke seven day here. So if we actually supposed to start this whole four, this whole count actually started uh, in Ezekiel, we've got the seven days. He, uh, we've got the um, after he sees the vision of the of the of the throne. He, there's the seven day 
um, uh, we're given in the story before he's given the instructions on the 390 and the 40 day uh, enactment. And we've got, if we start this whole process on the beginning of Tabernacles, well, that's a seven day, Tabernacles is seven days, which then puts the beginning of the 390 days on the, the after Tabernacles, on the eighth day of, uh, uh, of, of, you know, the day after Tabernacles, the eighth day. So day one of the 390 would be the, the eighth day following the seven days, uh, which is exactly the 7th of October on the Jews calendar last year, which is where we, we were looking at the possibility of the start of the 390 day count. And I said, okay, that fits out. And that takes us through the last day of the 390 day count would be the 30th of October um, in that instance. So if we from 7 October plus 300, plus 390 days, including both of those days. So including the 7th day of October as the first day of the 390 and the, the last day of the 390 is the 30th of October. So the end of the warning, the end of the count would be 30 of October and 31 would be the first day after that warning. So I'm, I'm at this point, I'm now believing that with this adjustment, we're now looking at the possibility of the stake of scap the bride. Instead of being on the eight on the 19th of October, we're looking at it being uh, 12 days later on the 31st of October uh, this year. With um, yeah, so so that at the end of the 390 day, which is the warning to the house of of Israel. Um, and that seems to be um, the most logical place to place the escape at this point in time. Uh, we all know the connection of the 31st of October with what the enemy has done. And I'm not in no way saying that um, I think what, what has happened here, the enemy, our enemy has figured this out some time ago. And he's actually made sure that that day is probably is can be considered as probably one of the most evil days in the whole in the calendar year and uh, i think he's made sure of that he's made a number of he's marked a few other days as well and i, I i've come to the conclusion that that our enemy that uh, doesn't actually know the exact day um he's he's figured out a few possibilities and he's covered um his bets on on a number of possibilities um maybe he knows exactly but i think he's just guessing and I think his, but his, his highest guess was this 31st of October, uh, based on exactly what I'm showing you now. He's, he's figured out this some time ago, and he's been, he's marked that day, I do believe. He's also marked, if you count from the 31st of October, and um, if you count off the six days, you get to the 5th of November. And that too has also been marked, uh, a marked day. Um, uh, you all know that that's Guy Fox. That's, you know, remember, remember the 5th of November. That's the day that Guy Fox wanted to blow up the British Parliament, if I recall correctly. That was the story. But basically, it's, it's, a, it's a marked day. It's an evil day. So you've got this whole period. Uh, this, it, it's also, it's it, for some other reason, our enemy marked that day. That would be the end of the six and possibly the start of the 40 days. Um, if, however, this is a six, uh, this six-day count is actually a seven-day count. Well, then, then the start of the forty days may actually be on the seventh of November, um, and our enemy has made sure that he's accounted for that uh, possibility as well. And he's, we've got a seven eleven situation here, seven November, seven eleven, and you'll remember how seven eleven has been connected to nine eleven um, in the statement that Trump made some years ago. So we've got another possible seven eleven. 9-11 event, the beginning of the 40 days. And um, if, if the six is in fact seven days as opposed to six days, if, if it's supposed to be 444 days, including the fifth day of the sixth month, uh, then seven days, and that would take us to the beginning of the 40 days on the 7th of November. Uh, and that would then end um, on the 16th of stroke 17th of December, if you take 40 days, which is the uh, first, uh, uh, the first and second day, uh, it was well, actually the the second and uh, the 15th of December is the first day of Tabernacles on the Lord Lord's calendar. So we're looking at the second or the third day of Tabernacles for the end of the 40 days. Just interesting. 
that that 17th of December would also be a 177. Um, so let me let me go and explain all of this in on the um, on the calendar. So at this stage we're looking at the the end of the 390 days, the the the, the last day of the 390 day count, being the 30th of October. So the the first day after the 390 day count would be the, the 29th day of the fifth month and being the 31st of October and it is a Sabbath day. Um, so it, it's, it is dark moon. So if we if we count off the six days, if we include that day as the first of, of the, the six day count, the 31st of October, um, so that'd be two days, two, three, four, five, Sixth day. The sixth day is the fifth of November, with the um, forty days starting on the fifth day of the sixth month, which is the sixth of November. Now, interesting is that that fifth day of the sixth month corresponds with the end of the Ezekiel story. You'll you'll recall that he his end of the enactment. And the day that he's taken up to in, in the spirit to show the evil of uh, that's occurring in, in in Jerusalem was on the fifth day of the sixth month, and if it's a six day count, then the forty days starts on the fifth day of the sixth month on the Lord's calendar, on the Taurus calendar, on the calendar where it starts, where the year starts when the sun is in Taurus, the two month, uh, the one that starts. That's, that's so. This would be. Uh, the fifth day of the eighth month on the Jews' calendar, but it's the fifth month of the sixth month on the Lord's calendar, and we see this interesting correspondence between those two dates, the beginning of the 40 days. If, however, there is a seven-day count between the taking uh, of the bride, and that's day one of seven days, so that'll be two plus, plus another five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and then the 40 days actually starts um, on the 6th of the 6th month and that would be on that that day, that 7 November, that 7 11. So those are two possibilities, 40 days starting there or there and either of those two days are, are very interesting and um, yeah, so it actually might be right in between those two from the change over from that day to from the 6th to the 7th, uh, possibly the 7th, 7 11 Jerusalem and and 6 uh, 611 in in the US uh, for the beginning of the 40 days uh, which would account for six stroke seven days um, between the taking of the bride um, and the beginning of the 40 days then if we count off the 40 days that brings us to the 40 days would end uh, depending on 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 whether it's the 6th or the 7th, it would be the 16th or the 17th of December would be the end of the 40 days. And we see that's the 2nd or the 3rd day of, 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 uh, of Tabernacles on the Lord's calendar, uh, which would correspond to the 16th of the 7th or the 17th of the 7th day would be the end of the 40 days and the beginning of tribulation. Um, so it's just possible that 717 actually may well be the, the true beginning of tribulation in the midst of tabernacles on the Lord's calendar. Uh, that, of course, would be 17th day of the ninth month on the Jews' calendar. You've got to add two months to the seven. So, seventh day of the ninth on the Jews' calendar. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically. Uh, so, that's we've, we've looked at that now from a perspective on actual calendar. So, some interesting connections, I do believe. Um, I, I hope that, that, you know, setting it out in this way, um, it makes it a little bit more understandable in terms of the, the count. I think the important thing at the moment is we're looking at, um, we're looking at 31 October for the taking of the bride and then a wait of about six or seven days and this could be the situation where the the wedding covenant is entered into um, then we've got the 40 days uh, which is equivalent to the prayer and fasting that uh, that adam and eve uh, underwent after the uh, the covenant and then the consummation after the 40 days and possibly the famine of the word 
and the time when the Lord spends with his bride for a year. Um, yeah, something something along those lines. So as I say, this is a this is a developing story. <laughs> we'll um, we'll see things we we've seen how now um, just earlier just a few hours ago um, just under about twenty two hours ago. Uh, it's probably actually a little bit less, probably about 20 hours ago that Israel attacked um, Iran and uh, has done, uh, they've now said that they've completed their retaliation and now we sit and wait for the possible retaliation of Iran and uh, we'll see what happens there. I, I, I believe fairly strongly that uh, in terms of Daniel, Daniel, um, Daniel's uh, 70 weeks, um, when understood in terms of the end times that uh, we must have a partial destruction of Jerusalem uh, so that the decree to rebuild and restore can be issued which will be the trigger uh, for the seven six and two years which is the 15 years in Daniel um, that corresponds to our 14 year but Daniel had an extra year he takes it beyond uh, he takes it to the end of um, the anointing of the Holy One. Uh, to understand, um, uh, if you want to, if you want to have a look at uh, my explanation of what I believe to be the correct understanding of Daniel's seventy weeks uh, for the end times, then then I would then you need to um, have a look at this uh, these Daniel's seventy weeks. Let me just see it here. Um, yeah, the, uh, these two these two videos of here, Daniel seventy weeks, the correct interpretation part one. This is looking at it in terms of the wars, how it actually transpired to the coming uh, and the the baptism um, of of the uh, of Jesus Christ uh, of the Messiah. And then, of course, the same prophecy can be understood in terms of end times, uh, which is 70 years understanding. Um, then that's explained in this part two. Uh, so I would, I would, if you want to understand Daniel's, what I believe to be the, 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 the only and the true, well, the true correct, the true, what I believe to be the correct interpretation. What I believe to be the correct interpretation of Daniel's 70 weeks in terms of the was and the is and is to come, then uh, I would recommend you have a look at those two videos and you'll understand what I, what I mean by the trigger um, where Jerusalem has to be partially destroyed, partially, some, 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 something has to happen to Jerusalem, the city itself, uh, so that the decree can be issued during these 40 days. Um, during uh, the time of the 40 days, there will be a decree that will that will be issued uh, to restore and build, and that will be the trigger um, for the tribulation, just like it was the trigger for the beginning of the 70 weeks, um, 70 weeks of years, which is 490 years. The the decree to restore and build was the trigger for the beginning of the 70, 490 years. It will also be the trigger for this for the the, for the 14. Uh, stroke 15 years, which is the 7, 6, and 2, yeah, described in, in Daniel's prophecy. Yeah, so I think with that, um, yeah, we watch and wait, and it's pretty exciting times. I think this is this is uh, probably been, well, I know for a fact this has been the most exciting seven years from a biblical perspective, from a spiritual perspective in my, my, in my entire life, and I think we, we're about to, to, to see the fulfillment of a lot of things that we've come to understand and uh, yeah looking for looking forward to seeing seeing you guys and getting on I don't this may well be this may well be my last video um, I don't know what once uh, the, the, the event, this this uh, great and, and uh, I think what the Bible really describes is the the great and terrible day of, uh, of the Lord uh, once when this comes uh, what exactly we're going to be doing uh, the day thereafter that remains to be seen i don't know if we'll be making any more of these types of videos we'll see so this may well be my last video all right with that
I'm going to sign out. May God bless you and keep you. And see you soon.